So, yes, the American people were failed by a president who rushed to war, and who didn't tell the American people the whole truth, a president who squandered the unity of this country and our standing in the world. But the American people were also failed by the majority of Congress that didn't ask hard questions. They didn't read the intelligence reports. They didn't speak out or stand up against the president. A majority of Congress that voted to give the president the open-ended authority that he uses to this day. So let's be clear, without that vote, there would have been no war. Now, some seem to rewrite history. They argue, they, well, I wasn't really voting for the war. I was, I was voting for inspectors. Or I was voting for diplomacy. But the Congress, the administration, the media, and the American people all understood what was at stake in 2002. This was a vote about whether or not to go to war. That's the truth as we all understood it then, and that's how we need to understand it now. We need to ask those who voted for the war, how can you act surprised when you vote for a blank check and then the president decides to cash it? Reporters, a reporter today asked me, why are you bringing this up? That was back in 2002. Aren't people more interested going forward instead of looking backwards? I completely agree. This is not just a matter of debating the past. I bring this up because it does say something about who's got the best judgment to make the critical decisions for the future. 